friends, and welcome to Drawing Furry Friends of the Saints. In this episode, we will be drawing Jordanis, or Jordan, the lion who was friends with Saint Yerasimos. Saint Yerasimos first met Jordanis while on a walk by the Jordan River. As he was walking, he came upon a lion roaring in pain because of a splinter that was stuck in his paw. Saint Yerasimos pulled out the splinter, cleaned the wound, and bandaged the lion's paw. Then, instead of going back to his cave, the lion followed Saint Yerasimos back to the monastery and became his devoted pet, living on bread and vegetables. Now, before we begin our drawing, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black or dark colored marker, and whatever else you would like to use to color and finish your drawing. If at any point in the video you need to catch up, don't be afraid to pause and then start again when you are ready. To begin, let's draw a small V in the middle of your paper. Next, draw a bumpy line, kind of like the top of a heart, to connect the two points of your V. This will be the lion's nose. At the bottom of the nose, draw a straight line down for the start of the mouth. Moving to the top of the nose, draw a line up from each corner to make the lion snapped. Heading back down to the mouth, draw a curved line up and around to connect the middle of the lion's snout. Do the same thing on the other side. Next, we are going to draw the lion's chin. Using a zigzag line, draw the curved chin under the mouth you just drew. Now let's draw his eyes. Beginning on the right side of the lion's nose, draw a small line down. From the bottom of that line, draw a curved line across. Let's do the same thing to make his eye on the other side. Now, starting about halfway up his cheek on the right side, let's draw a curved line around and up a little past his eye for one side of his head. Let's do the same thing on the other side, leaving the top open for now. Next, let's add some dots on each side of his cheeks to show where his whiskers are growing. Okay. Let's move back to the top of his head and add a line with a few little zigzags to show where his mane falls over his face. Starting on the left side this time, let's draw another little line with a few zigzags. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And then let's draw a curved line and another smaller curved line inside to make his ear. Let's add an ear to the other side as well. Let's finish the lion's mane. Beginning above his ears, let's draw a little V. From the right side of the V, let's draw a curved zigzag line around and down until it's under his chin. Then let's move back to the other side of the V and draw another curved zigzag line around the other side, connecting the lines at the bottom. All right, it's time to add the lion's body. Draw straight lines connecting the lion's mane to the bottom of the page on both the right and left sides. Next, let's add arms. Beginning a little ways in from the right side of the body, draw a curved line for the top of his arm and loop it around to make one toe. Add two more loops to finish his paw and then a diagonal line from his last toe to the bottom of the page. Going back to the top of his arm, let's draw a little line up to help show the bend in his arm. On the other side, draw a small straight line to show that his other arm is straight. Finally, let's draw a wavy line from the middle of his right side to make his tail. Let's add another line parallel to the line you just drew. Now, Let's add the end of his tail, drawing a teardrop shape with a pointy tip. Let's add a few lines inside for his hairs. Forgot one last detail. Let's add the splinter that St. Yerasimus pulled from the lion's paw. Draw a small line to show where the splinter is stuck, 
and draw two diagonal lines up. Add a curved line for the top of the splinter. Last, let's erase that extra little line so that it looks like the paw is behind the splinter. And just like that, you've drawn your Danis, the furry friend of St. Erasimus. You can finish your drawing using whatever art supplies you would like to color in your lion, and even add a background if you would like. Thanks for drawing with me today. May the Lord bless you and keep you always.